This is the Roberts Play 10, a portable DAB and FM radio. It's available in black or white for around £40, making it the cheapest digital radio from Roberts. The radio can be powered from four AA batteries or the included wall adapter. The radio has a single speaker, a headphone output and a flexible carry strap. Setting up the radio is quick and simple. When the radio is switched on for the first time, it scans for digital stations. Here the radio found all 80 DAB and DAB plus stations that are available. The scan is quite quick, taking less than 18 seconds. Reception of digital stations is on par with other small digital radios we've tested in this kitchen. If a digital station broke up after moving the radio, it could normally be brought back by changing the position slightly. In FM mode, scanning for stations wasn't quite as good. The radio has two modes for finding FM stations, but it would normally scan past many which are available here. They can be tuned in manually if you know the frequency. The Roberts Play 10 sounds quite good for a radio at this price. Some cheaper DAB radios can sound dull and booming, but the vocals and high frequencies came across fairly well. The radio doesn't do as well with drums and bass as the Pure Elan 1 that we looked at recently. The 0.7 watt power output was sufficient in this small kitchen and in a study, but if you sit down to listen to music programs or need a radio for a bigger space, we would look elsewhere in the Roberts range. Where the Play 10 does struggle a bit is with the headphone output. Volume is fine for headphones and earphones, but the sound is quite flat. When listening to Rose Royce's Love Don't Live Here Anymore on Heart 70s with the Pure Land 1 and a supermarket radio, the drums are clear and obviously in stereo. The same song on Heart 70s on the Roberts Play 10 sounds quite dull in comparison with any stereo image quite difficult to hear. If you like to listen to speech programs, news and phone-ins, then that's not such an issue. All of the radio's controls and the display are positioned on the slightly angled top of the radio. This is okay on worktops or if you have the radio on a table next to a chair, but on a windowsill or at the back of a desk it might be less convenient. The LCD Starburst or 14 segment display shows the name of the radio station, the mode and a small signal strength meter. The large white text on a blue background is very clear and it's very easy to read. The display can only show 8 characters at a time, so some station names are abbreviated. Unlike on some radios, the time isn't shown permanently. It's possible to toggle between the station name, scrolling text, a larger signal strength display, the time, date and other information by pressing the tuning and select knob. The display looks slightly old fashioned now, but the large text makes tuning and selecting stations very easy. The tuning and select knob is positioned on the opposite side on the top of the radio. The knob provides good feedback when turning and pushing in to change the radio station. Browsing the 80 stations the radio found is quick and easy with that control. The volume, presets, power and mode menu button are all found in the middle. The volume up and down buttons are situated in the middle of all the buttons and are slightly larger than the rest. The on-off power button is on the top left above the menu and mode button. Pressing that button once opens up the menu. If you hold it down it switches between the DAB and FM modes. Three dedicated preset buttons are next to the tuning control. The radio only has six presets in total with three for digital stations and three for FM. Saving and recalling presets is very easy. All of the controls feel good and have a slightly premium appearance. The labels around the buttons aren't the largest or the brightest, but a good layout of controls makes them easy to distinguish. Auto tuning of digital stations can be initiated anytime by holding down the tuning control knob when in the DAB mode. The Roberts Play 10 is about 18 centimeters wide by about 10 centimeters tall. It's smaller than a lot of previous Roberts DAB radios like those from the Gemini range. The power lead is longer than most we've seen with a portable radio. The battery cover is easy to open for the insertion of four AA batteries. The manual is quite comprehensive with detailed instructions and diagrams. This should make it easier to read than a quick start guide or one of those large instruction sheets with small text. The Play 10 comes with a two-year warranty. Roberts also sells spare parts on its website for the radio. 
Overall, the Roberts Play 10 is a good small portable radio. It's been around for a few years now, but the simple display, lightweight and good controls make it easy to live with. Thank you very much for watching. If you would like to take a look at the rest of our channel, you can see more reviews of DAB radios. And if you'd like to see more radio reviews when they're uploaded, please click or tap on the subscribe button.